Why can't you find love? How long have you really been single? Really? Having trouble finding that special soulmate? I can solve this one. Secrets of Birthdays, now live for purchase. Your love trouble? Over. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, Ambassador Gemini. Welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday. Thank God it's sunny, nesting, and resting. Or maybe cloudy. Kind of depends on where you go. We got almost a full moon in Virgo. Shifting emotional focus now to your home, your nesting, your self nurturing. Time for Gemini's to chill out, take a little break. This is nearly a full moon. So if you've really pushed yourself to the limits, excuse me, a little hiccup there. If you push yourself to the limits, you might really feel drained over the weekend. This is definitely a weekend where you want to reinvest in yourself and take good care of yourself. This is also a good time to hang out with family, but nurturing family, not family that needs nurturing. You're the one that needs it right now. Now, zoom in the sun, we're at 29 degrees Aquarius, and that means we're in the final and tested degree of the Aquarius vibration. The universe is literally gonna tempt you back into your old beliefs, your old thinking. All month long, Gemini's have been working on your belief structure. That's your philosophy, that's your religion, that is your education, okay? The theories that you subscribe to, and you're going to be invited into the old subscription probably in the next 24 hours. The universe will be like, you sure you don't believe in this old antiquated belief? And it might be an argument with someone or someone testing kind of your willpower as far as what you believe and what you believe to know. And if you find yourself falling in that old space, just figure out how that happened. You know, how did that happen? Who let the garden gate open? How did that weed get back in here? And don't judge yourself or put too much criticism on yourself. Remember, you are sensitive and need self-nurturing. And Jupiter... Jupiter is squaring Pluto for the next couple of weeks. I just want to point it out to the Geminis. I think there's going to be a lot of fears going on with Geminis between uh, who you are in the world and your limits and boundaries. So perhaps you want to be something bigger in the world, but you're afraid of success. You've got a boundary up. Perhaps uh, you're, you're becoming more public, a more public figure. Where's your boundaries there? Learning to trust your reputation in the world. Basically, Jupiter is saying to Geminis, it's time to get bigger. It's time to go out there in the world. It's time to succeed in the world and increase your visibility. But somewhere your own comfort zones and boundaries might be in the way. So you'll be working out fears and conflicts between your comfort zones and your reputation. And over the weekend, the sun moves into Pisces. Thank God is for that. Tomorrow we're at zero degrees Pisces. I think tomorrow's gonna feel a little surreal. I think Saturday will feel offline. I do think that the world tension will start to release and relax a bit. And by Sunday, I really think we're gonna really start to feel the Pisces vibration, which will really feel like aloe cream on a sunburn because we have definitely gotten sunburnt with the sun in Aquarius. And it's Friday. We've got Astro Gossip Live today with DJ David Palmer and myself. We're going to talk about this world on fire. We've got Iran rising up. We've got Egyptians still rising up. What's going on? Well, the planets do tell, and David and I talk about it today everywhere, Soul Garden Streams. Don't miss us. All right, Gemini, that's all we have for your weekend forecast, but I'll see you on Monday in Pisces. Until then, live, love, be. Soul Garden. Done.